Let's fall in love with marshes. This is Second Marsh, a hidden gem located in Oshawa along the shores of Lake Ontario. We could all use a healthy marsh mindset because it's not just a place where birds and bugs hang out all day. Let's fully appreciate the necessity of the marsh and the magic of the marsh. It's a world to be discovered, it's a world that supports us, and it's a world we can fall in love with. First of all, marshes help protect against climate change. They slow down the flow of water so that it gets absorbed to prevent floods, and then during drought periods they release water when it's needed. The aquatic and terrestrial plants in the marsh absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, which helps reduce the impact of greenhouse gas emissions. And they help purify the water, and they help purify the air. In its own magic way, the marsh is balancing out the environment for us. Marshes also support educational development. They're an ideal place to study nature, connect with nature, and understand our role in nature. Marshes are also important habitat for wildlife. It's a place of sanctuary for a large range of plants and animals, including some rare and threatened species. As an example, loss of habitat is believed to have reduced the global bird population, but marshes are providing birds with breeding habitat and an abundance of plants, insects, and fish for food. Marshes are also a popular stopping and nesting area for migrating birds, which makes it a popular location for people to go bird watching. But if you ask us, marshes are also a great place to go caterpillar watching. It's also fun for turtle watching, frog watching, deer watching, beaver watching, butterfly watching, flower watching. And also one time we found this really cool fungus. It was about the size of a rugby ball. I didn't even know these things existed. It is proof of the magical mysteries that reveal themselves at the marsh. And marshes can be great for our mental health. If you want to recharge in nature, you may have a special place like this in your own backyard, a marsh that is waiting to be discovered. As an example, Second Marsh is easily accessible to the residents of the Greater Toronto Area, but many people still don't know about this place and they still haven't met all the fun residents of the marsh. But Second Marsh needs to be protected from pollution, urban development, and threats to the balance of the ecosystem, such as the invasive species that enter the marsh and outcompete the native species and thereby degrade wildlife habitat. Second Marsh needs a hero like you, and there's a few opportunities for you to help. First of all, you can participate in the marsh and help by just going to appreciate its beauty. You can bring friends and family to the marsh, enjoy the outdoors, learn about the natural world, and fall more in love with nature. Throughout the area, self-guided walks are enhanced by a well-maintained trail system with lots of signs and viewing decks. Part of the magic and mystery of the marsh is that everything is always changing, with different plants and animals that take their turns making an appearance for you. It also offers a different type of adventure depending on the time of year you visit. You can also do a meet and greet with the friends of Second Marsh. They facilitate wetland walks, hikes, and educational programs. You can also join the community and stay connected by following them on social media or signing up for the newsletter. And you can help protect the marsh by donating time, effort, or resources to help out. You can volunteer to help the community with monitoring, maintenance, and repair of the marsh. And if you're inspired, Friends of Second Marsh is a registered charity, and you can protect the marsh by making a donation to fund the operations. Let's participate in the marsh. Let's protect the marsh. But most of all, let's be even more in love with the marsh.